Need to import your data into CoinLink? Today, I'll show you how to do that with custom CSV files. Want an easier and free way to track your crypto portfolio? CoinLink offers different ways to import and track your transactions. In fact, there are three ways to import your transaction history with CoinLink. The first, the easiest. Some platforms offer a simple single sign-on like Coinbase. Meaning, all you have to do is log into CoinLink, connect it with your platform, and watch the information come in. The second method is by finding your public key for your platform and copying it into CoinLink. This is known as the API method. Finally, some platforms offer CSV files that can be downloaded from your platform account and uploaded into CoinLink. Okay, but what if we have the rare occurrence where none of these methods are available for your platform? Times when this might happen are when an API sync is not perfect or there is no CSV export option. Examples of this could include staking rewards not being returned by the API or where a coin has been delisted. In these cases, you will need to create a custom CSV file in order to accurately import your transaction data into CoinLink. Okay, now I'm going to run you through exactly how to do that. First up, CoinLink provides a couple of CSV templates that you can use to add your platform's data to. You'll find these available for download from our help article, which I will link down below. So let's talk about some templates you can use. We have a template for importing deposits, withdrawal slash mining, another for importing trades, and a universal format template to import any kind of data. Let's start with the first template, importing deposits slash withdrawals and mining. This format is ideal for importing deposits and withdrawals from wallets, blockchains, mining pools, etc. Basically, anywhere you have incoming and outgoing transactions. The template looks like this, a basic Google Sheets spreadsheet with a few columns and headers, plus some sample data to guide you. The first step is to download this file and make a copy of it, since this file is read-only. So you're gonna click on File and then Make a Copy. Save it somewhere in your Google Drive. If you don't have a Google account, you can go to File, Download, comma, separated values, in brackets, CSV file, that you can work on offline. Once you understand how these files work, remove the sample data which was provided to give you a better understanding of the file. Once you put in all your transactions, you will go back to the same area. So we're gonna click on file, download, comma separated values to download your CSV file to your desktop. Then take that file and import it into CoinLink. Okay, so that's the general stuff out of the way. Let's talk about how you would actually modify this file and what each of these rows means. The first sample row in this file contains an incoming transaction of 20 BTC, which is tagged as mining income. The second row contains an outgoing send transaction of 20 BTC. The required fields that always need to be filled out are Coinly date, amount, and currency. And we'll talk later about the dating format shown here. And the optional fields are net worth, net worth currency, tag, description, and TX hash. So modify this file in a way that fits your needs and export it as a CSV. Then import it into Coinly by finding your desired wallet, exchange, coin, or service, and clicking import from file. Simply drag and drop that file and click import. If your service, wallet, coin, or exchange is not listed, type the name into the search and click create custom blank wallet. Okay, let's move on to template type two. This CSV file is ideal for importing trades that are displayed using their market pair slash side instead of the amount you sent slash received. And small note here, if your exchange shows you the amount you have sent and the amount you have received separately, then you should look at the universal import format instead, which we will discuss later. Okay, the first sample row in this file contains a trade of 1000 USD to one BTC with a fee of five USD on top. In other words, you are buying one BTC for 1000 USD plus fee. The second row contains a sale of one BTC for 900 USD with a fee of three USD on top. In other words, you sold one BTC for 900 USD plus fee. Required fields include coinly date, pair, side amount, total. Optional fields include fee amount, fee currency, order ID, and trade ID. So same as before, remove the example transactions and add your own. Download a CSV file from Google Sheets and import it into Coinly. Lastly, let's talk about the universal format template. This format can be used for importing any kind of data. You have to specify the amount you are sending and the amount you're receiving in separate fields. This means you can use the file for deposits slash withdrawals and even trades. Okay, the first sample row in this file contains a trade of 1000 USD to one BTC with a fee of five USD on top. In other words, you are buying one BTC for 1000 USD plus a fee. The second row contains an outgoing slash send transaction of 0.5 BTC. And the third row contains an incoming transaction of one BTC from mining. 
For this file, the required fields include date, sent amount, set currency, received amount, received currency. And the optional fields include fee amount, fee currency, net worth amount, net worth currency, tag, description, and TX hash. So those are the three CSV file types you'll use to create a custom CSV with your data. So now I'm going to walk you through some of the questions you may have about using the CSV templates, starting with the decimal separators. Always use the dot as the decimal separator in your files. We do not support comma separators. So for example, 0.55 BTC is good and 0.55 BTC is bad. A decimal separator is required for all amounts. Next, all date fields must be formatted like this, year, month, day. For example, if you want to enter the 5th of January, the date will be 2019-01-05. It's best for timestamps to be in UTC, but if they aren't, you don't have to edit them in the file. Check out our blog on how to import a CSV file using a different time zone, which I will leave down below. Entering both an order ID and a trade ID will allow Coinlink to group trades for the same order. Okay, let's talk about net worth amount and currency. You can set these if you know what the market rate of the transaction was at the time of the transaction. If it is empty, Coinly will determine the market rate automatically. If you'd like to read more about how Coinly sets the market price for your transactions, I will leave the article down below. Okay, net worth amount slash currency is ignored if you bought or sold some coins using a fiat currency. In such cases, Coinly will use the fiat as the market value instead. The net worth currency must be a fiat currency like USD, Euro, or GBP. The net worth amount should not include the value of the fee. If you have paid fees in a different cryptocurrency and want to specify the exact worth of the fee as well, you can use the fee worth and fee worth currency columns instead. Moving on to fee amount and currency. These are the fees you paid when trading and can be in any fiat or cryptocurrency. Fees cannot be added to incoming or outgoing transactions. If you paid a transfer fee, Coinly will calculate it automatically when it matches an outgoing transaction to an incoming transaction on another wallet. Only use this field for entering trading fees. Okay, lastly, let's talk about tags. Tags can be added as appropriate. For regular deposits slash withdrawals slash trades, no tags are required. Coinly allows the following tags like stake and realize gain for outgoing transactions. The following tags are allowed for incoming trades. As you can see, this is a pretty straightforward process. I will leave the frequently asked questions down below. As always, if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more crypto content and I'll see you next time. Peace.